Okay, this is an update on this little air engine that I'm working with here. Let me run it up. I'll show you on that. Okay, what what I've got going on here is I'm uh, 3D printing the parts for this one by one to try to make a better design and better functioning air engine and um, it's a learning process trying to learn how to design in uh, computer aid design CAD CAD design and then uh, getting that to function on the printer and then getting that to actually work in real life and uh, it's really interesting I'm not used to this type of uh, design and building you know my background is the old school where you drew it on a piece of paper and um, and then you uh, fabricated it with machines of different types or hand tools or whatever and this thing here where you design in the computer and then you uh, tell a machine to print the thing out is totally foreign to me but the whole project spun off this idea of using a ball as the piston in the cylinder that I'd never seen before so that spurred me on to try to uh, uh, design one of these uh, type of engines um, I'm going to give a PDF um, link to a PDF on the design for the basic steam engine that I built years ago. There's a really old um, um, design and project that this whole thing here is a spin-off of that um, steam engine design. And from that design, you might be able to build your own. Now, what I've got here, I... I can't and won't give out files for this thing because it really it doesn't work very good and um, it would be a waste of your time but anyway basically you've got a, a cylinder here and a cylinder here with a valve that moves back and forth here and a piston that moves back and forth here that uses a bell crank system to turn the wheel and um, um, it's very similar to a Stirling engine in some way, so I might go from here into a Stirling engine type of deal using 3D printing. The problem is, if I went to a Stirling engine, I'd have to run this on cold, because obviously when you get up to 200 degrees or whatever, um, this just melts. <laughs> so you'd have to make a Stirling engine that ran on the cold, unless you made part of the engine out of something else. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this little project. Thanks for watching.